Sagittarius, welcome to your annual forecast for 2019. Now, I'll just make this quick and uh, concise, okay? Because I'm still here and I just want to do this during my break. I have a break until December 2nd. So, I just wanted to finish some of the things that I need to finish because I know I still have to do the Virgo, Libra, uh, well, we're doing the Sagittarius right now, and the Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. All right, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's shuffle again. Some Sagittarius is to, in 2019 would aspire to be pregnant, to get pregnant, or to start a family. But it's going to be very difficult for them because of the stress that's going to be coming from their own family or from their own circle. All right? Now, and I'm also using new set of cards. This is the after tarot. Especially those who will be traveling or who's traveling for a living, okay? If you want to get pregnant by next year, you need to lay low from, you know, from working or from being too stressed out. It's a must for you to just stay at home or it's a must for you to have some less activities, okay? Okay, let's shuffle again. Now this is for your work and finances. star both you need to be a little bit more creative if you want to expand if you want to explore and if you want to you know reach more, further horizon I also feel like this is the time where you will be changing your career making some major decisions alterations to whatever that is already you know presiding and whatever that's already uh, in here at present and try to avoid office affairs or getting involved with somebody at work no actually let's put this let's use this first this is for your love life And this is for the month of January, okay? Mm -hmm. And we will be looking into the singles later on. Let me pull it out. For your sex life, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. 
you would wish for something that's in more of a bigger size. All right. Some Sagittarius women will be uh, will be uh, going for an augmentation. Some Sagittarius men will also be opting for something more likely an enlargement of something inside their body or in their body. Lastly, for your health. All right, let's take a look first at your general, okay? You are growing a little bit impatient because for married ones, you want to have a child or you want to start your own family. But then, number one, the job gets in the way or, you know, it's like you're always traveling. That's why it's really hard for you to, like, find where you should be staying or where you will be, okay? Now, you don't want to keep on moving from one place to another and you'll be carrying your child and then the stress, the, you know, everything else, the, and the, um, the medical bills and the, you know, the expenses will be piling up. You want to stay in one place and you want to determine where are you really going to be staying. Now, you're also feeling a little bit, not really bored, but it's like you're looking for something more of an answer, a light, a hope that where will your life go or where is your life direction you're tired of pretending and you're tired of throwing things in front of other people that oh yeah yeah this is my life you know now you will also start to grow maturely and you will also start to open up your eyes into real things this year okay more into reaching for like a like more realistic things and not just uh, under a lot of illusions and under a lot of pretenses okay for some Sagittarius women if you want to conceive like what I said you need to stay put you need to stay in one place you need to have less stress less activities or you just need to stay at home because your pregnancy will be very very difficult or very um, what do you call this will, will be very um, sensitive all right there will be a brand new beginning and there is also a chance around the month of June or July and then September. June, July, September. February is also there and May. So you need to take advantage of those times, okay? If you want to conceive and if you don't want to conceive then obviously you need to you know, you need to avoid those months into being too sexually active. Now, and right around the third week of this, right around the third week of January, you will have some, let's say, emotional balancing, okay? And you kind of wanted to have some me time or some private time because you are in the verge of a um, transitional phase and it's like you want to know what are the things that you need to change what are the things that you need to improve what are the things that you need to replace and retain okay you will get the answer once the actual and the final take of change will take place in your life right at the end of this month of January okay which is you need to be a little bit more patient Okay, use your instincts and don't be too indecisive. Your wish will come true and your wish will be granted. Ooh. Well, finances will also be coming in to you, some unexpected finances or unexpected job opportunity, plus health, uh, well, positive health news 
which is again if you're trying to conceive this is where you're going to be getting good news okay um, well if you're going to be getting another job opportunity then it means that you're still going to be you know like moving and um, there's something that you need to sacrifice all right you only can only choose one so well the good thing here is you're going to be starting out your your new year or your new the first month of the new year, you know, and a very good twist, very good realization, and more realistic um, target and aim for the year 2019. Now, when it comes to your finances, your daydreaming, you, if you want to expand and if you want to, let's say, have more experience, have more skills, and have more, um, exposure okay or expansion you need to be a little bit more creative instead of just daydreaming you know I, I want this I want that oh you know it's that's so easy I can do that everything that you want to attain and everything that you want to have you need to study it first you need to you know um, study all the angles and weigh the pros and cons instead of saying okay I can do that so what that's so easy huh? you know and you will eventually get there okay you will also be right in the middle of the month get some unexpected phone calls from clients or from some strangers you know that will be recommending you now there are two things that could happen to you in this uh, in this month communications will be increasing right in the middle of the month but be very careful with some prank callers or, or with some people who's going to take advantage of your generosity or with your attention okay because they might just drag you along it might lead you into danger now you will also be moving into a new company or a new office and you, there will be some celebration that's going to be coming but then with the new environment there will be some tough competition with the people around you so you better know how it is to get along with everybody uh, otherwise you will have a lot of difficulties making it through for the entire year with these people okay you need to be a little bit more professional keep your focus and um, avoid office affairs and as much as possible keep your place or keep your even your you know your table or your house tidy okay and organized because sometimes you want to do things all at once and all you do is like start this start here start this start here okay so you need to finish and you need to be a little bit more in control of your desires because definitely you will eventually get there you just need to have more patience okay now when it comes to love Singles, there is someone younger, around 29 or 25 year age, that will be offering you love, but it seems like, yeah, you know, that person is really good looking, very attractive, alluring, gorgeous, and stuff like that, but, you know, I'm flattered, but, you know, not really my cup of tea. So, what you're going to do is just, you know, walk away from this person, but this person is ready to fight for you and ready to fight for whatever they feel for you, so better take a chance and look into you know look into the different uh, perspective or look into the different side beside um age is just a number you know this is for singles now for married ones there are some things that you in, in your relationship that you need to walk away from or that you need to really have a final take okay let's say for example that there has been some miscommunications um impatience you're competing with your partner just because that your partner is earning more than you and you feel like you're being left out and you feel like your partner is not really helping you out in whatever way they can but you know what this is just in your mind what you're doing is self-sabotaging and you're also sabotaging your relationship because i don't see any problem in your home except it is you and your boredom and your discontentment okay if there has been some red flag signs, you will know the truth by the third week of this month and you will feel relieved that your hunches are not really true and whatever you feel, it's only like, um, you know, it's just like a paranoia, okay? Your partner is busy working and um, I feel like they're more dedicated and start in solidifying your foundation and in fact there will be some news about getting a house or opting for a new house by the end of this month okay you'll be signing a contract now when it comes to your sex life 
you are wishing for something bigger, okay? Or for something more ecstatic, more action, more wild, you know? But be very careful because there will be a temptation that will also be surrounding you. And this is the start of your test in your relationship as well. Now, there are some things in your relationship that is missing and lacking, especially the excitement, adventure, the thrill. It's, you know, it's not really sizzling as how it is before. But the key is with you. If you're always at the bottom, then you always, I mean, you need to learn how to be on top, right? So at this point, you also need to contribute to the action. You also need to contribute into adding up some zest and spice instead of looking outside of your relationship the excitement that you're looking it's not the excitement that you think okay it will be more of a um, a uh, problem misery chaos and separation in the long run right after the excitement that you're thinking about so be very careful with your choice now and there's also a water sign and the uh, an air sign that will be tempting you. Be very careful. <coughs> now when it comes to your health, you need to have more leafy vegetables around you and you need to, it's like you're being more health conscious even though yeah, it's necessary for you to lose weight, but then there are actually more constant pros to whatever it is that you're doing to yourself, okay? Dieting is not, it shouldn't be like that, um, you know, you should do it fast. It should be gradual, okay? And I feel like you just need to stretch a little bit more and um, not to junk food, you know, have more activities. It's okay for you to eat more as long as you will have it. Um, enough activities and I feel like you need to take some more herbs that is related to your blood eyes you will also experience some arthritis vein problems varicose and uh, some throbbing pain swollen feet and swollen ankle and uh, the back of your knees okay uh, you will have some bulging um, veins there and you will also experience some hard lumps or hard lumps that is right beneath either under your thigh or under your the foldings of your knees and thighs okay also cinnamon ginger lemon and honey this is good number one for your immune for your immune system and also to lose weight if you want to and to focus on the things that you really wanted to do because been, because you've been losing focus okay and you're actually focusing on some unnecessary things that's why you are getting derailed in a lot of your you know in getting in getting derailed in a lot of your um aims and goals and aside from that for, you know, for Sagittarius who's opting for a new beginning, number one is, okay, and also for you for you to have a proper sleep, drink some chamomile tea. Now, for those who's opting for a new beginning, try to plant some golden sea for you to see if you're ready for a new beginning or if this actually doesn't, you know, spruce up, then it means that you still, you still needed more time, okay? And for those who's been going through some heartbreak separation, um, try to have some pleurisy root, okay? And for the depression, take some black hush. All right, so let's take a look for singles.
Okay, singles. You know, if something is not really working in your dating, um, dating life right now or dating game, it means that you need to look into a different path. Okay, there is somebody who's already waiting for you, but you're not really looking at the right path because you have your own ideals, you have your own, um, you have your own opinion. Okay. Which you're going to be very lucky to meet this person by the end of the month, but you need to travel. Now, if you are a woman, you will be the woman that you expected yourself to be right with this person. And if you're a man, then you have to treat this woman the way that you're supposed to treat a decent woman. Okay? Because this person is very conservative, traditional, conventional. Not really boring, okay? Not all people who is traditional and conventional are boring, but they just want to be safe and they just don't want to go you know, out of the norm and be weird about relationships. Now, you can expect longevity because you are finally be meeting the one by the end of this month. It's just that there is someone that you need to lose, someone that you need to give up, and something that you need to realize at this point, okay? This person is a water sign, and this is the one who will also be offering you longevity and engagement or uh, proposal, okay? Now, the person that you're dating with right now or seeing with right now, it's not, you know, it's not really going anywhere. And um, upon you moving away and upon you traveling by the third week of this month, someone will be coming, well, not really dispersing in your past, but this person is will just come at the right moment, at the right time, unexpectedly. Okay? And this is where you will be sharing your thoughts, your experiences. It's not going to start through dating. It will start through a very long conversation. And I feel like you're going on a cruise, or I can see that the two of you will be meeting near the body of the water or on the water. Okay? Now... You should also look for a sign, okay? And um, more likely a, a symbolism of clover or like a horse or like a horseshoe, okay? Or like the shape of it. Anyway, you will know the symbol when it's the right time, when it's the right time and it's the right person. But this person is a water sign, definitely, okay? Um, fair complexion brown or dark hair, hazel eyes, around late 40s, yeah, middle 40s or late 40s, and uh, he has a very deep-seated voice, running his own business, and it seems like he is into, mm, like shoes or socks, like a collection of that, something like that, okay? So let's take a look at the month of year, February. Mm. Oh well.
looks like the month of February you'll be bumping into someone who's more of a person from the past or somebody that you feel like this is your soulmate. And this is an earth sign with a mix of water sign. Some Sagittarius will also be receiving some proposals, well, marriage proposals, or you will be proposing to someone. Oh, you are still. Okay. Looks like there is a connection or there is a relationship that you need to reconnect with an earth sign whom you consider as your soulmate or whom you consider as somebody from the past who really knows you so well. There will be some changes that you want to make, especially in terms of finances and there is you know, there is a project that you want to start or initiate, but then you feel like you want to keep this as a secret for now, which around the third week or second week or third week of this month of February, there will be some delays or there will be some blockages that will be coming your way. So you will eventually relay it to this person. Now, be very careful with the ideas that you will be expressing without further permission or without even studying the pros and cons of this. And even though there will be some success that's going to be coming your way, there is also somebody that will be, you know, that will get hurt in the process. You're also thinking of traveling or working in, the, in another place where you feel like you can definitely prosper, but you will have to sacrifice being far away from your family or from the one that you really love. Okay, but if you feel like this is what you really want and what you really need, then, you know, weigh the pros and cons for this. 
Now, when it comes to your works and finances, you will be very proactive and you will be preparing for your first day or you'll be preparing for the day where you will be reporting for the job or for your work. Now, you will be gearing up ahead and you will be extra, you know, like a preempt and a very active brainstorming, active in uh, participating. But don't get swayed with the uh, temptation that's going to be surrounding and around you. Again, don't daydream. And if ever that there is something that you want to initiate or start, make sure that you'll be stu studying all the angles first before making the decision. And you have to learn how to give back, okay, once you're already there at the top. Because there will be some times that you will feel left alone and there you won't be counting on any friends or any other people that's going to be around you and you're going to be on your own. Now be very thankful of the changes, well positive changes that will be coming your way and you will also be celebrating, okay? Plus, aside from this one, even if you're already there and you already get what you want during at this point, make sure that you will continue the discipline and make sure that you will continue the regime that you have already started for you to get to this point, okay? Now, when it comes to love, your partner will somehow feel a little bit left out because, you know, now that you're, now that you've already seen the, um, like your own passage and it's your own way uh, just make sure that you're not gonna be like leaving somebody behind especially if you feel like you're you know you feel so inspired in your life still don't forget that there are some people who's counting on you to look back onto them there will be some travel that you will be taking in, within the middle of this month and um don't think too much and don't overanalyze things because you know your self-sabotaging thing is the one that's been like uh, bringing you down okay this is the one that's always making your life more difficult because if you will keep on thinking that some people will be betraying you you will have a lot of sleepless nights and paranoia anxiety and panic attacks and instead of you gearing up ahead you will keep on looking back and watching your back Okay, especially in terms of relationships. Now, sex life. You'll be enjoying much of your, let's say, glory and much of your pleasure. Okay, just make sure that you're not going to be, you're not going to get sidetracked looking for something else or looking for someone else just because that you, you know, this part in your relationship is already lacking or missing. And I also feel like there is somebody that you will be fancying outside of your relationship. Now, once you start doing this, it's all be considered as cheating, okay? So just be very careful with your thoughts. Just be very careful with your actions. But then altogether, if you will just exert more effort, you can bring back the zest in your relationship. Now, when it comes to your health, Again, some apple cinnamon that's also good for your throat and for your uh, sinusitis or for your um, weakening immune system. Uh, you also need to be surrounded by some lavenders and uh, some basil herbs and thyme. And aside from that, well, there will be some I feel like you're just gonna have some problems with your left knee. Okay, you just have you're just gonna have some problems walking, especially uh, this is the time where it's still cold and really cold. You know, you'll also have some problems with your left upper thigh and walking with your left knees. This is what I can feel. And aside from that. If you don't have any vice, especially smoking pot, then you won't have any problems. If you are, then you will have some frequent side effects like migraines, um, lethargy. Um, either you're going to be overeating or not really eating at all. Okay? You'll have some problems with your stomach. Now, okay, let's take a look, singles.
Yeah, you will have some problems with somebody from the past that you used to live and that you used to be domesticated with. Now, this person will be coming back into your life, not for a second chance, but to use you again. So be very careful, especially if they are born in the year of the horse, okay? Now, you also need to make sure that... Uh, there will be some borderlines that you will be throwing or making for this person. Otherwise, this person would just keep on taking advantage of you. Now, you know, this person is more likely your karmic connection or your karmic, um, karmic soulmate. This is not your soulmate, but more likely a karmic soulmate. Okay, and this is somebody that you really want to marry before, but unfortunately things did not really work out the way you wanted it to be, and then the two of you just decided to go in your separate ways, but then this person is like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, okay? This, you know, this relationship should should have ended, but you are, it's like the only thing that, uh, that this person needs from you is your forgiveness and your closure, but you keep on giving this person always, a, you know, like an opportunity or slot to come back into your life over and over and over and over again. It's time for you to put a stop to this, okay? Now let's take a look at your month of March. Mm -hmm. hmm. Looks like this month is more of a mix emotions or mixed thing, mixed moods or mixed emotions because, um. Mm -hmm. and you should learn how to manage your finances in order for you not to incur debt, debts or loans or, you know, even if it's not really necessary at this point. Don't play with fire, okay? Now, hmm, hmm, hmm. 
You know, there are some people, at, at, you know, in, in your work environment who will try to um, involve you in some practices, but you know that you know the other right from wrong, and you should have more control in saying no to this. Okay. Life. It seems like there will be some talks about children, siblings, and um, so future of your children that you need to prepare, and you need to take you need to consider some of the most important stuff. Okay. Especially if, you know, if it means sending them for some, uh, like, um, tutorials or, or, or healing sessions or some therapy or something like that, for them to heed some special attention. Because it seems like your children need some sort of um, special training, okay? If you, especially if you've been having some problems, like ADHD. Okay. Now, the month of March, there will be some news that you will be receiving. However, this is not really that pleasant, or this is not really that, um, let's say, something that you're going to be so giddy. Okay. Financially, it seems like there will be some balancing that you need to take or that you need to make. If there's something to do with your family or some family members, and that you need to make a decision about. Now, you will have enough means or resources, but you will find it hard to, let's say, get out of your work or take some leave in order for you to be with your family member. Now, you'll be finding an excuse away from your work and you will eventually, you know, make it through, okay? But it's gonna be like a very little time, let's say seven days, and then that's it. And then you're so afraid that you're just, you know, like starting your new beginning or a new job or something like that. And then here goes another disruption or here goes another disturb, um, disturbance. Now, 
but this is just part of the cycle and this is just part of the process so don't be so you know, don't feel so overwhelmed with this and you know there will be some good news which is you will be um, approaching an earth sign but then there will be some problems with the schedule as well so this is where the balancing comes in now you have to wait for the right time or for the time being for the um, for the schedule to be fixed and it seems like eventually right after three weeks or three months everything will get sorted out now as I've said that there will be some issues and some talks that is related to your children that you really need to pay attention to especially if you're with a water sign at this moment and you need to let's say a lot a um like funds or resources for this okay because there will be some issues about children and there will be some issues about your family that you need to pay attention to as early as possible and don't let it get um what do you call this like uh, don't let it um, get worse now when it comes to your workplace hmm. when it comes to your workplace you need to be a little bit more realistic with your goals and again learn how to give I know that you will have that you are out you know this month that you need a lot some, some funds for your children or for your for your child who needs some extra attention but when you give when you give you receive as well okay that's a uh, that's planting good karma and I also feel like this is the time where you will be asking for some advices or some help from me from other people and friends and you will eventually get it okay just make that one simple phone call and you will eventually get the right help that you needed now you'll be a little bit distracted with your work sidetracked distracted and you will be thinking about a lot of things all at once instead of multitasking you will be multitasking your thinking okay and you will also be attending a gathering or party or there will be a victory party that your company will be celebrating and you'll be very very happy okay you will be learning a lot just don't just make sure that don't you know don't get involved in some practices or don't play with fire some people in your company will be like dragging you into a practice or into some scrupulous activities just make sure that you're not going to take part into that you know what's right and wrong okay there's nothing wrong if you become too ambitious as long as you're doing it the right way and taking the right steps now when it comes to your love life you need to cut off a lot of your wishful thinkings and you need to cut off some of the unnecessary thinkings okay you have the idea you have what it takes and you have you know the right kind of happiness to look to ponder to and to look forward to you just feel like you know again the discontentment gets in and sometimes you're feeling a little bit too selfish about not being too giving okay but that is what the family is all about now you will have the idea and you will have the uh, the right amount of resources and work and um, I feel like eventually you will make it through and um, you will surpass this period okay this it's not a marriage crisis because your marriage crisis is already over this uh, I mean it will be over this 2018 and you will have a brand new beginning in 2019 and that is the phase that you'll be moving on from which is around the end of this month of March you will be moving into a new place or into a new re residence or you'll be relocating okay now when it comes to your Now, when it comes to your sex life, oh, you'll be a little bit more experimental this month of March. And I feel like make sure you're not going to be uh, getting involved with someone else. Because someone will also be seducing you, okay, even to the extent of stripping right in front of you. And uh, be contented with what you have so that you won't incur bad karma, okay? even if the one that's already right in front of you is really attractive now problems in breathing asthma bronchial problems um arm pain 
shoulder shoulder blade pain um, uh, pelvic pain some muscle related pains and uh, migraines aside from that if you're especially if you're not smoking then your lungs will be cleared out but if you're smoking it's time for you to offer some uh, it's time for you to offer some um, alternative okay You also need to cleanse your house or to have some cleansing using sage because of the, um, you know, the mental and the, uh, well, the detriments and the mental stress that you will be having this month of March. It is a must for you and it's also good for you to catch some more sleep, okay, to have some rest. You will be traveling by the end of this month or the first two weeks of next month of April. Now let's take a look, singles. Singles, it's time for you to say goodbye to your heartbreak because finally you will be having and meeting the right one that is loyal and faithful. Uh huh. Now, this person is just like three to five years older than you, and I don't feel like you will have much of that, you know, difference. And you will be very surprised because the two of you really like a lot of things okay and you will have a lot of things in common and you'll be very surprised that the two of you will just get along like you've already known each other for such a long period of time okay um this i feel like will also be bringing back some things from the from your childhood not from the past but from your childhood and this is the right person for you to really spend the rest of your life with. This person definitely deserves you. Born in the year of the dog. And I feel like this person will be bringing you white flower. Not the uh, night wa not white rose or not the, uh, the common white flower. Okay? But this, it's a white flower. I can't really say what it is. And you'll be sitting uh, under a tree in a park. And uh, I don't feel like this person is really rich, but mm, you know, they can provide or they are financially stable as well. Okay, so don't expect too much when it comes to finances or when it comes to money. But what's important is that you will be getting the right amount of companionship and love and relationship and care. And this person is also a very good cook. So good for you, all right? So, let's take a look and check your month of April. Now we're off to your April, uh, to your month of April. Let's take a look. Seems like you're going to be in a different place on your own. And... Hmm. 
Mm. There will be a lot of disturbances and nuisances that will be coming your way, but eventually you're going to make it through. Now let's take a look at your finances. Thinking about a lot of things, being distracted, having the right guidance, thinking about your family while you're working, having some faith, <clears throat> thinking of the family life. Oh, don't, don't opt for any shortcut <laughs> if you want to be successful. Stable cards actually keeps on coming up to you. Oh, coming up in your reading. Uh, okay. We'll read it later on. It seems like there is a property that either you need to buy or that you will be selling for you to move. So there will be some relocation that's going to be happening. Getting the right amount. Oh, okay. Still the same. You will be changing your location or you'll be relocating, selling your house, or buying a new house. Same. Now for the health, let me use my old um, medicine card, okay? This is more elaborative than the... Uh, Okay. Now, as your 
life progresses. It seems like they're always in trouble back home, especially if you're, you know, working from a distance or you're working far from your own family. There will be some disturbance from your work during this month and uh, it's kind of inevitable not for you to go back and not for you to attend some stuff. Although right in the middle of the month there will be some heartbreaking moments or there will be some heartbreaking situations which is it will kind of distract you from your main goals and target, okay? Um, I feel like there are some things that uh, you've already forgotten how to arrange first before leaving and now it's you know, kind of uh, time to pay really attention to this problem. There will also be some distractions to your to a marriage or to your uh, partner which is, I feel like there will be an interference from a third party, which you will know and find out, okay? Now, things will suddenly turn positively as long as you will be paying attention to each and every problem as early as possible, rather than letting it, you know, run its course and uh, blow it to bigger proportion. Even though you're going to have a lot of hard time resolving this while you're far away, eventually you're going to come out on top, okay? So don't worry that uh, the situation or the, um, what do you call this, the, um, the uh, time will be taking much from your success because uh, I feel like you will be guided and protected, but you just need to learn how to multitask, okay? Now, when it comes to your workplace, this is, uh, you know, this is what I'm trying to say that um, there will be some distractions to your work. You see here, it's because that you'll be thinking about a lot of things, the spiders, you will somehow think that people are planning something against you and then the vulture that somebody will be taking whatever that you have worked hard for, you know, that somebody will be taking it away from you and then there are bats and dragonflies and everything else and there are some, you know, there are some beings on the outside of the window. Now you need to stop doing this because this is what's been like a this is what's gonna bring you down other problems in your life, okay? I actually have a runny nose right now and uh, can't help not to. Now here you have the power, okay? You have the answer, you have the truth, but don't let any other thoughts, dark thoughts that will be, you know, um, don't let any other dark thoughts get in the way or get in your, get in your mind because otherwise this is what's going to happen to you, okay, you'll get the real. You miss your family or you will be thinking about your family eventually but then you just need to have some faith. You need to prep up and uh, prepare your new home because your family will be coming there with you. As I've said, this only applies to those who is kind of living far away from their families or far away from their loved ones. And uh, you already have a uh, you already have some plans of taking them with you there. Okay, happy times are coming, but then you know again you keep on daydreaming, and uh, there will be some reunited, and there will be some gathering that you will be forming, and soon enough all of you will be together. Okay. You need to curb down your fears and you need to curb down all of your anxieties and panics and uh, all those, uh, you know, all those negative thoughts that's been like haunting you. And uh, you need to listen more to your intuition about what it's going to say because otherwise you will be losing your focus and you'll be losing this opportunity again because of your indecisiveness. There will be the right guides and the... 
I feel like by the end of this month, there will be a completion of a project or a turnover of a deadline, but expect that there will be some people who's not going to be very happy with your victory. That while you are working so hard, you always find yourself alone and you always like feel so lonely, you know, going home alone and uh, going home in a house that is empty that nobody is uh, kind of waiting for you. So this is where you're going to be um, thinking of either buying a new home or moving to a new location or new home. Now, Now when it comes to your, to your love life, uh, there will be some financial difficulties and financial uh, requirements, okay? That you would have to make some sacrifices. Number one, for you to get a new house, there is something that you need to sell off or you need to sacrifice or cut off from your bills or cut off your, from your extra expenses. Right before you travel, it seems like someone who is a mother figure or an air sign woman will be needing an assurance from you, okay? That right before you make a brand new beginning, you need to settle down your debts, you need to settle down everything that you needed to settle right before leaving. Because I feel like this person will be looking for some sort of an assurance. Because obviously when you're already away, it's going to be hard for this person to get their money back. Now, you'll be making a crucial decision for your family, especially for, you know, for, um, for your children. And um, I feel like even though you're not yet ready, you will be thinking of some ways or you will be finding some ways on how to get them with you. Now, someone will also be thinking about somebody from the past or you will be looking back into the lessons of the past. This is very important because the downfall that you've had in the past and this should serve as a lesson for you not to repeat the same mistakes again, okay? And um, I feel like this is this will have a uh, uh, this will have a very good signal for brand new beginnings and brand new outlook. You just need to maintain, as I've said, you know, the clear outlook that you've already started this year and the discipline. And stop, and uh, you need to stop or curb down the self sabotaging thing. Now, when it comes to your sex life. You know, it's kind of hard to be away from uh, from the people that you love and, you know, um, temptation will be all over and temptation will be anywhere available to you at your disposal. But you have to be a little bit more stronger not to get carried away by the temptation or the, you know, the seduction that somebody will be throwing into your face. As I've said, that someone will intentionally either you know, like uh, call you, flirt with you, or show their body to you, or something like that. Anything they're they're gonna do just to you know seduce you and to get you carried on through their game. And I have to warn you that there is a very um, harsh lesson if you will let yourself get carried away with this. Okay, it's not just your family that you'll be losing. It's not just your job, but your entire life that you have to scr to start again from scratch. Okay, because this is another um, brand new beginning that has been given to you and you shouldn't waste it because of a temporary happiness. Although on the other hand, when it comes to your sex with your partner, you will have some problems, you know, 
either you're the one who's gonna have some problems getting it up or you're or if you're the woman you will have some problems with your husband getting it up okay like an erectile dysfunction so this is the reason why you're gonna start looking into a different paths and you're gonna start looking like um Oh, more likely for an option, even though it's just a window cheating, okay? You know, when you say window cheating, it's like an online virtual dating, signing up for, you know, for some online thing and uh, flirtations, Facebook, you know, something like that. But still consider this cheating. Now, when it comes to your health, Okay, sorry about that. You know, it's actually hard to use this camera because um, I'm, I'm using my laptop. Unlike the other one um, uh, where I'm using my uh, my microphone because every time I need to sneeze to cough or to, to blow my nose, <laughs> at least I can mute that, you know. But here I have to keep on pausing the video and, um, you know, excuse myself a little bit. So bear with me, okay. Now when it comes to your health, it seems like your health or your spiritual health is slowly coping up and healing, okay? You just need to continue doing the organic um, organic diet. You need to continue your aim and uh, some issues about vertigo as well that you need to be very careful of. And... Uh, Hmm. Heart ailments, um, heartburn, high blood pressure, chest pain, and um, more likely like an angina. Okay, it's not an actual heart attack. It's more it's, uh, it's more of an angina. Just be very careful with that. And you're you know for some Sagittarius who's already aging, you need to be careful um, and you need to maintain the exercise. Okay, for you not to induce too much fat in your heart and in your body. You also need to strengthen the immune system. You need to leave a lifestyle behind, especially junk food, smoking, drinking, and uh, partying late at night, and uh, you know eating non-healthy food. You also need to learn how to mingle and socialize, and you will have some extra sensitivity to light, or you will have some. It's like. Uh, be careful with pink eyes, sore eyes, or any eye infection during this month. All right, let's take a look at singles. Looks like someone is coming to you. More unlikely, another person from the past. At first, it kind of looks very inviting and very convincing. But might as well just keep this person in the you know within your friend zone. Uh, there is somebody uh, there is somebody that is much more worthy of your time rather than keeping this person as a uh, as your bow okay I feel like this person is a Scorpio 
Scorpio or Pisces, more like a water sign. Pis Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Cancer, okay? And if you already feel some, you know, some red flags or if you're seeing some some very doubtful areas in this person's intention might as well just keep them in the friend zone and uh, keep your walls up only you have the key to the you know to the to this person and if you will let yourself get dragged along with their games then obviously it's also your fault okay they look very convincing they're a very good talker sweet talker Mara and uh, they're not going to tell you the truth that they don't have a job, okay? They are gonna, uh, they're just going to make it appear that they are doing well in life, they're happy, they're established and everything else, but that is the, uh, you know, uh, the pure contradiction of the truth. So be very careful with this person. As I feel like this person is going to take advantage of you again and again and again. All right, let's proceed to your month of May. And now off we go to your month of May. So let's take a look what's going to be coming your way this month. There will be some financial troubles or financial. Well, it's not the financial trouble that you're going to be lacking, but there will be some, let's say, emergencies or family necessities that you have to send your money to. And I feel like you're going to be a little bit worrisome or a little bit burdened because of the, um, you know, because of some problems that while you're away, why does it have to happen? Why you're not there. Okay. Mm, happiness will be stored. Just need to be a little bit more patient. Also need to learn how to relax a little bit when it comes to work, okay? My dog is actually knocking on the door. <laughs> Now let's take a look at your sex life. Whereas, hmm, I can also follow action. to your house, let's take a look. Yeah, 
It seems like you know, as the well, the first six months of the uh, the year for you will have some full of distraction, especially if you're not going to be with your family. Okay, if you only have one, or if you're not going to be with your spouse. Okay, now you are. It's like that, you know. It's like um, there will be some problems or there will be some issues at work where you're not going to be telling your spouse, and you wish for them to be with you at this point, and then you are only trying to be a little bit more stronger, a little bit more, you know, um, mind alert and uh, mentally stable, even though you're under a lot of stress and uh, you've been beating a lot of pressure when it comes to work. But at the same time, there will also be some problems when it comes to your family, okay? Financially, I feel like you you will be able to provide whatever it is that they need at this point. But then you feel like, why is it that, you know, when whenever there's some, something that comes, something also comes along, you know, in the process that the, the, the money will go out easily. So when the money comes in, something will happen and then the money will go out easily. It's like you can't even hold it in. So, and uh, you're starting to, to wonder like what is wrong at this point, okay? Or maybe there's something wrong that I've been doing. Why is it that my finances are always like this? Now, well, it's a good thing. At least you have money that's coming in rather than money keeps on coming out and nothing is coming in, right? Now, you're also worried about your mother or you will be worried about someone who is pregnant at this point. That even though you're already far, you want to be with your family and you just couldn't really, you know, wait for the time being to for them to get reunited with you. I also feel like there will be some, let's say, there were some issues in the past like infidelity or uh, temptations or flirtations or something like that from your end or from your from your spouse and but now this confusion and this flirtation will finally be putting an end during this month so you can be rest assured that there won't be any betrayal of some sort that's going to happen and you won't have any type of um problems anymore okay or worries now, when it comes to your work, you need to loosen up a bit and you need to learn how to stop and smell the flowers. You need to have a diversion so that you won't get stressed out. You also need to learn how to, you know, clean up the house, be a little bit more tidy, organize this. Because you're very disoriented. You're doing a lot of things all at once at the same time. And you also need to mingle. There will be some friends who will be inviting you to their house, to their small party or backyard party or barbecue party. Go and attend to it. Okay, instead of staying alone at home and thinking about your family, thinking about your problems, nothing is going to happen to you until that you will get too stressed out and too depressed. You also need to pamper yourself a little bit and you also need to love yourself a little bit. Okay, now when it comes to your love life and marriage, there are some things in the past that you're kind of wallowing that you shouldn't have done, that if you did not do the thing you won't be wasting time and money but now you know that's already over what's important is that forgiveness has finally been restored and that there will be some things that even though it has come to its end or to its tower moments you will definitely rise to the occasion and learn okay it's not that easy to ask for forgiveness but at least you will learn how to you know move on from it slowly and eventually you're gonna get it soon so don't worry about it now, when it comes to your sex life, be careful with the temptation, as I feel like that you are going to be encouraging more into sexual pleasures, whether you're going to be alone or not. And uh, you are thinking of more exciting ways and how to do it. And still, this person who wants to seduce you and who wants to be with you, okay, will definitely try and get your attention. So just try to have more discipline and self um self-control and eventually you're going to surpass this period 
Now, when it comes to your health, be careful in having sex with multiple people both at the same time. You also need to be a little bit more flexible, learn the meditation, tai chi, or yoga. And uh, you'll also be a little bit conscious about your vanity or yourself or your, you know, your skin in the process. Don't stay too late at night. Um, you also need to learn how to detox. Detox your mind. Stop smoking. Because uh, some Sagittarius, if you are smoking too hard, if you are a heavy smoker, you will feel more toothache or pain in your gums and you will also be losing your palate okay or the taste in your in your tongue and eventually you will be facing some mirrors or you will be um, facing a mirror of yourself seeing how your how yourself is reflecting the others okay you also need to take care of your eyes because it seems like it's time for you to either check your eyes, go for some reading glasses, or change the grade of your reading glasses, or altogether try to offer some uh, contacts. Okay. Let's take a look, singles, so what's going to be coming your way. Hmm. You're worried about your foundation singles, and you're also worried about not finding the love anymore. You're still thinking about this fire sign and this water sign that has come and go in your life. Even though you're wishing for the fire sign to stay, but you are also wishing for the, you know, for the water sign to come back. Now, it seems like somebody from the past, which is a water sign, will be coming back into your life. And I feel like this time it's going to be for real. There will be a sudden turn of events and you will eventually feel that this is the right one, the right calling for you. Even though the fire sign is much more exciting and fun loving, it's not going to get you anywhere. Okay. This person is, it's like they love changes. They love to make some changes, even though it's not necessary. And they keep on inviting some not essential things in a relationship like for example third party or attention or awe okay you don't really need a toxic kind of relationship and like this other water sign even though this person is younger than you this is what is more suitable for you to be with okay now let's take a look at your month of june I don't know why the camera is a little bit washed up. Let me check. Yeah, okay. Let's take a look for the month of June.
single, somebody from the past will be re-emerging in your life, okay? Getting very relaxing and pampering. Being on their own. Feeling melancholic. Wishing for things to be easier. Calling out your higher self. Mirroring. Celebration. Getting a new place. Yeah, let me shuffle again. Okay, now in the month of June, you will hear from a water sign, okay? There will be some big talks, big discussion, which is, you know, for, for some Sagittarius is already expecting a baby, it seems like you're going to have great good news about pregnancy, okay? And I feel like this is the start of a brand new chapter, transition, and journey. But you just need to be a little bit more careful not to drag all those old memories behind. When you start all over again, start with a clean slate. Okay, you also need to learn how to forgive and not to bring up the past anymore. Now, somebody from the past will be re-emerging, but I feel like at this point you just need to close down the doors and um, make a choice. Okay, some Sagittarius will also be meeting their soulmate or someone that they will feel somehow very connected familiar and 
you know, with a very strong connection. Yet you have to consider your present situation if this is really the right one. Okay. Now, aside from that, you will have another confusion upon your new beginning because another soul will be causing you another confusion. When it comes to your work, you're going to be a little bit more worried. But again, as I've said, you need to pamper yourself a little bit because you've been working too hard and you also need to love yourself a little bit. You need to make some space for new ideas inside your brain instead of thinking about a lot of things. And you'll be feeling a little bit sad because, you know, feelings, feeling lonely, alone and isolated. And you will be attending more parties, more gathering, just, you know, not to feel alone. But then at the end of the day, when you go home, it's still the same. Now you need to work on your assignments, you need to work on your skills and qualifications instead of getting so distracted and don't take the easy way out, okay? You need to call your higher self for, for, for much guidance and clarity and you need to move to a new location or a new, move to a new house altogether. Now when it comes to your love life, travel will also be in store for you for the first two weeks. But it seems like it's not really going to go through because of some, you know, unforeseen circumstances and you just need to learn how to balance. Now, there is a promise that you need to fulfill or that you have made to your children or to your child and you just need to balance a little bit because of your dwindling finances. This is not really the time for you to splurge and this is not the time for you to really spend so much, all right? But if it's necessary, you just need to learn how to balance and everything else will follow and you'll be okay. When it comes to your sex life, it is the game of give and take, taking and giving, all right? To your own partner, if you're a woman, you will have, again, another problem of uh, erectile dysfunction. And to those who's... Uh, who's more to, you know, to say, sorry, to Sagittarius men, you will have some problems getting it up, getting the uh, the right feeling, or getting the right, you know, libido to deliver. And I feel like you're looking for someone who can really turn you on definitely. Now when it comes to your house, don't stay too late at night. You will be feeling a little bit lethargic and depressed. You'll be very conscious of your, you know, of your appearance. You also need to learn how to give back. Be careful with wild animals. There are some, uh, your the right side of the body will start healing, especially if you've been having some problems with the pain and having some, you know, issues with your organs on the right side of your body. And you also need to eat well eat healthy food and eat healthy diet and avoid the junk food. Altogether, you might as well just go for the organic rice and organic coffee rather than sticking with the uh, instant ones. Let's take a look, sing this. This fell off. Nine of Swords. Looks like you're gonna be feeling a little bit sad and worry and uh, a little bit overburdened and overwhelmed with your problems. Let's take a look why. Okay. You're battling with some of your feelings, feeling a little bit stuck, waiting for things to turn around. Traveling, happiness, finding the right one and getting married, getting involved with an air sign. And the Six of Cups. You see, you're entangled with someone who's in a very complicated situation and, situ and a complicated relationship. You want to be with this person and you want this person to choose you. However, the time is not yet right. 
okay now you got involved with this person and now you are not really forcing but waiting or hoping for this person to at least take you seriously but unfortunately i feel like there will be a lot more battles miseries strife and struggles bickering and bantering that's going to happen right before the two of you could really end up together so might as well start making a decision by now besides there is someone else who is more of an option to you this water sign is ready to offer you the love that you want and that you need why would you stick with somebody who has a lot of complications and who doesn't have any intention of taking you seriously right so all right, let's take a look at your month of July. You will be traveling just to ease down your mind, and I feel like you really needed it. Now we're off to your July forecast. Let's take a look. That looks good. Looks like you're going to be a little bit secretive this month, but um. You need to pay attention more to your actions and deeds and don't put your walls up especially if you feel like you're being too taxed by uh, by your problems or by your family issues finances i don't feel like you're gonna have some struggles during this month celebration you're gonna be joining some friends victory Spending some time alone. Keeping your high hopes up. Being a little bit creative. Calling out your higher self. Pamper yeah, yourself a little bit. And still, you need to conquer this the fear of being alone. Okay, some Sagittarius women, you're going to have some uh, busy time working and, you know, it's going to be hard for you to really have that dream of yours to conceive because you're going to be so busy and a little bit stressed out. You want to be successful and you feel like you just need to have a little bit more time before you really stop. Feeling a little bit desirable or feeling a little bit in the mood. Uh, you're going to be joining some... Finally, for your health. Stomach problems, ulcer. Okay, now let's take a look first at your, uh, uh, uh. let's take a look first at your general area, alright. Now this month will, you will be 
feeling a little bit at ease and um, you will find some peace of mind okay you'll have some peace of mind and um, I feel like when it comes to your marriage or to your relationship you will have the assurance that you've been looking for there will be some good communications back and forth but then you know there are some things that you're not going to be telling your partner about the things that's been really going on in your life now you are also planning to travel right by the end of this month but be very careful with the finances especially if you're not really sure of your budget okay now you need to be a little bit more frugal and uh you know contain some more strength if you're kind of missing your family don't go home yet or don't just buy the plane ticket instead save that for some other months or for some other time and not to mention that you will also be expected of much more of your deliveries and uh, participation in your company so it's going to be very hard for you to get a vacation during this month all right now when it comes to your work you will try to contain your energy and you'll be a little bit more patient doing some researches and planning a strategy you'll also be invited into some celebration oh and there's also a chance of you being the employee of the month and uh with the help of some spiritual or metaphysical stuff you know influences power and uh well backup and support you're gonna be very happy you know you just need to have more cleansing and reflection don't uh, keep your feet on the ground okay don't be overly ambitious if there are some things that you know to yourself that is all over your limit because you're naturally optimistic but you sometimes forget your own limits Okay, set some realistic goals. You will eventually go there, reach there, and uh, be a little bit more creative. Um, reach up to your higher self and uh, pamper yourself a little bit if you while you're waiting for the time being for for you to be reunited with your spouse or with your family. Now, when it comes to your love life, you will be so busy, especially for Sagittarius women. You'll be so busy working, but then you will have a hard time conceiving or maintaining your pregnancy okay for some who's already pregnant during at this time be careful with miscarriage okay because uh, as i've said you need to have some more rest you need to be a little bit more stressed and less activities if you really want for this um, consumption to be uh, successful uh, which is you just want to have some financial success in your life and you're just gonna do anything and everything but you're also neglecting your own health now you want to make some changes into your life by hook or by crook but be very careful with the choice that you're gonna be making because there will be some consequences that you will have to pay for and it's gonna have some long-term consequences in terms of your health when it comes to your sex life you're feeling a little bit more active, desirable, hot, and uh, into the mood this month. And uh, be very careful in getting involved with some outside relationships or multiple sexual partners. Okay, especially if you're already married. Because I feel like there will be some repercussions that you'd have to pay in terms of your health again. Um, less when it comes to your health less intake of salty food and uh, food with seeds be careful with your appendicitis or be careful with your appendix or swollen appendix or get some appendicitis toothache sinusitis rhinitis migraines throat problems sore throat um, and eclampsia i'm not really sure why it is an eclampsia but yeah just be very careful with that as well and uh having some um not really venereal disease but it's not really that grave but also be very careful okay especially if the uh, person that you're going to be having sex is not known to you so be careful with the hygiene and you need to be a little bit more conscious of your um, of yourself, of your hygiene, of your um, appearance and vanity. Coconut milk for, you know, because you're going to be drying out your hair and you're also going to have some falling hair. 
you will also be noticing some red patches on your skin during at this point mm, not really boils but just um, little red bumps that is very itchy it's a more of an allergy to something that you used or contain and you also need to shop for a few more clothes because you are going to be gaining weight let's take a look singles but it's gonna come here, right? thinking of brand new beginnings, balancing your options that's all been right in front of you. Fighting for whatever you feel like is right, being the, uh, the authority of your own. Ending an illicit affair or ending an unhealthy connection, especially if you have an ex that keeps on coming back and forth. And there will be some changes that you need to understand and accept okay stop fighting you also need to make a choice between the fire sign and the water sign that you feel so stuck with now this air sign that is already married you also need to be careful and you need to cut off whatever that's needed to be cut off in order for you to move on otherwise you will just keep on stagnating yourself between the choices of moving and staying and going and you know keeping it you know the right from wrong but you're just afraid to make a decision because you're waiting for life to Choose the default choice for you, but then you know, sometimes life will be choosing the harsh choice for you. So I feel like while you still have time, it is much better for you to make a decision. What you feel like is better and good for you. This water sign that you keep on ignoring and that you keep on setting aside, I feel like this person is only waiting for you to, to notice them. But if you're going to fail to notice them within the next three months, starting from this month of July, they're going to be out of your way for good. Let's take a look at your August forecast. Water sign that's been keeping secrets from you. There are really some arguments about someone who wants to go on a travel. Or who wants to take their own journey into their hands and there will be some patience that needs to be extended during at this point especially if you're with the water sign mm -hmm. you will be starting your own foundation out with your friends socializations and you're not going to be so busy during at this point but you will be prepping yourself up for a project that you will be thinking which you think will be feasible oh sorry
looks like this one is already wants to travel. Uh, somebody's getting so impatient in uh, getting through here or seeing you. Otherwise, it's going to be the end of everything. Facing the ultimatum this time. You see, it's actually hard when you're with someone who doesn't really understand the struggles that you've been having in your life. And, you know, instead of understanding, they're going to be giving you some ultimatum. And of course, you don't have any other choice but to comply. But there will be some, you know, they're not really even thinking of the imbalances that it might cost if you're going to be making a sudden decision. All right, now, in the month of August, looks like you need to be a little bit more careful and, you know, like, um, you need to be a little bit more diplomatic with this water sign. Because, like what I said, there will be some disturbances, ultimatums, and there will be, like, if you're not going to go here, I'm going to go there. If you don't want me to go there, then it's over. Okay? Now, you know, you need to be a little bit more elaborative and you need to be a little bit more expressive for the other person to know what it, whatever it is that you're going through. Because there are some things and there are some times that you're trying to portray that you're okay and things are okay in your life even though it's not. So the other person would somehow think that you're doing something or that you're hiding something or something like that. But there are, there are a lot of truth that needs to be told and there are a lot of truth that needs to be considered right before the other person can make a decision. And this is what's been like creating a barrier in your relationship, the lack of communication. Now, this person who wants to see you, this person who wants to have their own like decision or life, and then you feel like, no, you have to wait. Let's do this, let's do that. And they're like, you know, they're tired of planning and they're tired of waiting and everything else. So... There will be some bickering back and forth. Financially, I feel like you're just waiting for the time being because you want to prepare for something big that's going to come, okay, which is related to your property. But then this, you know, at this point, your partner will try to squeeze you for something to make a decision about being together. So the money that you're supposed to be setting aside for something, it will go to that um, travel. Which is eventually you're going to have enough funds, but you know, it's instead of saving it for something more important, you will be putting it there. All right. So a water sign will be a little bit stubborn to you this month of August. Now, when it comes to your work, you're not going to be so busy. And in fact, this is a time where you will be enjoying much more of your surroundings and you're going to be spending some time with your family and friends. You will also start relaxing a little bit, getting in touch with your friends and family from across, and you will be planning accordingly more for your family. You will also be consulting some oracle readers or tarot card readers during at this point about your family, what is the best way and what's the best thing to do. Now, you will have enough um, happiness, okay, to keep you going and get more inspired, but this is more of a relaxing month for you financially. Now, when it comes to your love life, as I've said, it's someone who really wants to travel and you're kind of balancing, you know, is it really time or is it like this? And you've got a lot of things in your mind, but then this person just wanted to have their way, then that's it. You know, it's my way or highway. So as much as you want to put, to put your foot down and be the authority of this relationship, there will be some things that you need to sacrifice in order for you know, for the trouble to set aside and not to really push through. And the worry will be at, you know, um, uh, uh, the worry will come from your end and not from this person. They're very stubborn. Now, and they're not going to listen anyway. Now this, for your sex life, be very careful as someone will try to expose you with your sexual activities or with your sexual prowess, especially with your partner who is kind of hiding you in the dark. And um, it seems like this person also wants the same thing from you, okay? So be very careful to be blackmailed by somebody who has a dark intention, all right? When it comes to your health, high blood pressure, uh, injury, when it comes to your toes, right toes, Again, some sexually related illnesses or problems. I don't feel like it's that 
brave, but um, make sure that you will have your immunity be strengthened, okay? And also be careful with some insect and animal bites. Um, take charge of your health and eat more healthy food, balanced diet. Be careful in food poisoning, especially if you'll be attending a gathering. You will be sleeping more or you need to sleep more and your health will start to, you know, to rebuild again. Especially your immune system. Let's take a look at your health forecast symbols. Again. You know, don't be afraid to leave something behind, especially if it doesn't really serve you well anymore. This person that is more of a water sign is still waiting out for you. Why don't you try to just give it a try and give this person a chance? Okay, instead of focusing on this air sign. That is not really giving you a lot more clarity into where, you know, it is your connection going. It, if it, even if it's a friendship or even if it's just like an illicit affair or even if it's just a dating thing, you know. This person from the past is that you just want to get back at them, you know, because they have hurted you in the past. There's no point in uh, getting a revenge. You, you hurted someone, that someone will hurt you back, you will hurt them back. It's like a never-ending cycle, okay? It's like a never-ending war. So might as well just do the right thing, earn some good karma, and eventually time is the one who will be avenging your pride someday, okay? By changing this person's heart and mind. Now, you also need to make the right choice. You have tried to put your hopes up with this air sign, but unfortunately, it's not really going anywhere. It's time for you to leave everything behind and start anew, okay? Because I got the Six of Swords, all right? Let's take a look at your September forecast. Some Sagittarius will be giving birth during this month. Um, just make sure that you're going to have somebody with you. I also feel like there will be some other on the issue, so there will be some issues about her mother that needs to be tackled. You will also be traveling within the next two weeks or within the first two weeks of this month to check out and see your family or visit your family. Somebody will also get sick in your family that you need to attend to. A friend from the past or someone from the past or somebody that you've been working with as an earth sign will be reconnecting or you will be reconnecting with this person once again.
fatal attraction to somebody that you know is to attacking you. This also applies to singles out there. Obsessiveness. There will be some, again, some family issues, okay? There will be some issues about your family which will be calling for your attention and you need to balance if this is really worthy of your um, attention to really get back into, okay? Financially, I don't feel like this is going to be a problem because you're going to have enough, but, you know, it's the time that will be wasted and it's the time that will be gone away from your work, okay? Now, there's also somebody from the past whom you feel very reconnected to or whom you feel very, let's say, at ease or confident to be uh, confiding, which is an earth sign. And you will start reconnecting with this person, asking for some advice or asking for some uh, professional help or advice or something like that. And... Um, there are some things that you need to take into consideration, okay? You will also be either signing a contract that is related to a house or you will finally be selling a house. An air sign woman will be betraying you and that is related to money. Be very careful because I feel like this is more either an agent or somebody that you will be interested in your business to. Okay? Be very careful because it's money. Now, when it comes to your work, this time you will be going for a training or you're going to be going for some short class or short skills, even if it's online or actual class. You can have a lot of good times and fun times ahead, but still, being alone is what's been like um, intoxicating you. Okay? Sometimes there are some, uh, what do you call this, like, uh, sometimes you do have some, some thoughts inside yourself that's been like playing around in your head, but then you just need to have some more clarity, have some more faith, don't think too much, and keep on um, enhancing your skills, okay, and crafting your ideas, and eventually you're going to heal and have more strength and more perseverance. Now... When it comes to your love life, you need to have some practical decision and you need to put your foot down whenever, you know, your family will be demanding for your time, which is, you know, sometimes there are some unnecessary or not really practical decisions to make. You will keep on balancing, especially if you want to make somebody happy or you want to make your family happy, but then there are also some financial considerations that you need to think and to put your mind into, okay? A brand new beginning is also waiting for your, uh, brand new waiting awaits for your new journey or for a brand new beginning as well. You just need to learn how to use your instinct. Now when it comes to your sex life, an illicit affair or like a very unhealthy connection with somebody that will be playing around with your reputation, with your mind, with your face, and with your head. Be very careful, especially if you're single, to be videotaped or to be videoed by somebody who is just playing around with you or who just want to make fun of you, okay, or to set you up for something that's more of a humiliating situation. Also, be very careful in getting uh, connected with someone that is outside of your relationship because this person will be blackmailing you after seven months. Now, when it comes to your health, 
your body will slowly heal and will slowly get better. I just feel like you need to spend less time staying late at night and don't binge in too much food. Migraines and uh, nausea, vertigo, that's the only thing. And I feel like you'll be craving for a lot of sweets during this time. And you'll be feeling a little bit more lethargic. Try to opt for some healthy exercise instead. Let's take a look, singles. Transitional phase that you will be going through with the feet. <sighs> Doing some soul searching, find their own place, feeling a little bit uncertain, trying to communicate and trying to look for somebody to talk to. Now, you will be battling with somebody who's an earth sign, and I feel like you will be um, taken for some... A fire sign will be taking you for a ride. Be very careful, okay? Now, you will be going through an introspection and um, like a death on your rebirth of a situation and you know that there is something that you need to work in your life or you need to change in order for you to gain that momentum that you have been waiting for. You will also be doing some soul searching and trying to, uh, you will try to, uh, what do you call this, like outlive and to change your indecisiveness. You will be talking to a water sign and you will be talking to a few people or a group that you know that can help you and there will be some things about your job or about your um, position that you will be battling with. There is also a chance of you changing your career or changing your profession at this point. Be very careful with another fire sign who's going to be taking you for a ride and who, or who's going to be taking you for some home. Okay, let's take a look at your October forecast. Now this is for the month of October. Let's take a look. Some people will be questioning your authority over a project and you will only be answering to your boss or to the one that you will be reporting to. You will also be under a lot of scrutiny if some people who is very envious of you, but you'll be able to make it. Now, there will also be success about undertaking a new contract or undertaking a new project plus winning a or getting approved for a loan that is related to car and property. Feeling a little bit stressed out, weary, and I'm 
matches, you will be finding your answer right in the middle of your darkness or right in the middle of your crisis by the end of this month. Okay. The celebration that is upcoming You will be looking back into someone else's advice with regards to your situation and you will be pondering about the lessons of the past. Someone who's a water sign will be celebrating their birthday during this month. This is for the month of October. You're going to be a little bit temperamental because your sex life is not going to be that good. Alright, now for your general this month of October, it seems like as if you are having some anxiety and doubts about where your life is going, but then you just need to have some of the faith. Because, you know, sometimes it will come as a blur and it will come as, you know, like your wishes are not really taking place, but then the first two weeks of this month, life will be giving you whatever it is that you really want, okay? Now, there will be some things that you will find out that it's not really what you need and you will be a little bit discontented and thankful. No, but no sorry. Discontented and uh, not so thankful for having that. Now, you will be calling out some, some help, okay, from the... From this person from the past and I feel like there will be some communications that as much as you don't want to talk to this air sign you would have to now there are some grounds that needs to be uh, that needs to be set and made and you will also be under a lot of let's say infiltration and scrutiny by other people who is not within your level but you will be explaining yourself to your boss or to your immediate superior you will keep on uh, focusing on yourself and your job and uh, making things work. Now, when it comes to your work, as I've said, you have some ideas that will be... This is, I feel like this is the reason why you're going to be under a lot of scrutiny because there will be some ideas that you will be expressing without passing a proposal or without the approval of the... Uh, could be your team or to your... Um, maybe it's peers and things will not really work out as how they are supposed to be. Now, you will be expecting to use a bit of magic or miracle, but you know what? You just need to learn from your mistakes, and next time before making a decision, you need to weigh the pros and cons of it, okay? You will also be attending a very big event that will lead you into more success, brushing with uh, brushing shoulders with uh, known people or with key people, and you're going to be a little bit exhausted by the end of this month. Okay, you will be crafting some new ideas and implementing some new plans, but then you feel like it's not really going anywhere and you're not being hurried by your management. When it comes to your love life, there are some things that you will be carrying on even though you're already having a lot of hard time. You just need to choose one which one to carry and choose your own battles wisely. Listen to your intuition, whatever it is, it is telling you about a new beginning and it's also time for you to cut off some of the unnecessary things, especially if it doesn't really require you to, you know, to uh, pay attention to it. You need to focus on your work and you need to focus on rebuilding your finances and so is your reputation. And 
take heed from the lessons of the past. You will also be preoccupied by this person from the past. Now, when it comes to your sex life, it seems like things are not really going good between you and this other person. And there will be some... It's like you're going to get tired of the adventure, you're going to get tired of the uh, excitement, and this is not what you really want. You're going to start thinking about this person that is far from you. Now, when it comes to your health, again, be careful with some kidney problems, gallbladder, and some... Well, appendix related problems and uh, don't stay too late at night don't food binge you also need to get a touch back in your face learn how to share learn how to mingle in a healthy way with a healthy group check uh, check out your eyesight and you will also have some um, you know that sense extra sensitivity of your chicks even if it's night you will feel that your chicks are also slowly burning for some extra sensitivity and pain in your shoulder blades, mostly muscle pain during this month and knee problems, again some cures that needs to be attended to when it comes to your sexuality or sexual parts and you need to be a little bit more resourceful okay, don't just stick around to in medicine, if you feel like it, it's not really working out for you, and try to read some more reviews about it before taking it, because otherwise you might just suffer more from the side effects more than its cure. Let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way? Before we proceed to your months of November. Okay, singles, you will be very afraid of getting fired and losing your job because of your non-participating, uh, well, not really non-participating, but more of being um, non-active in a group. Now, you want, you're want you also thinking of going back to school or studying. And um, you want to start a brand new venture, a brand new journey. And you want to leave a situation, a place, a person, or something behind in order for you to move on. But then you don't really have to start with a lie, because otherwise it will just end with a lie. Right? You will still be a little bit bothersome by this air sign, but be very careful with your choices. If you really want to move on because you want to start all over again, do so. But don't escape a problem or don't run away from a problem because otherwise it will just catch up on you and it will just get worse. Okay? Let's take a look at your November forecast. Really, what's really destined for you to have? Be careful with the betrayal of an air sign that you will try to get close to you just for the heck of it. I mean, be very careful the intention of this person as I feel like they have double intention.
somebody from the past which is an air sign or who is an air sign will be betraying you when it comes to money, opportunity, commission, work, or clientels. Be very careful in sharing information. Okay, let's actually get routine. So let's just put it here. Six of Swords. careful if it's someone who's going to be taking advantage of you or who's going to be forcing you to have sex with them. Someone will also be blindsiding you with their cruel intention. Okay. This month of November, you will be working into getting somebody close to you, or you will be thinking about, for those who already have a family, okay, you'll be thinking much more about your children's welfare, and you will also be preparing for their um, future, more likely getting some trust funds or some educational insurance or something like that. It's like for you, the future is much more important and you don't want to go through the same kind of ordeal when you were a child. Now, you will also be a little bit more selfless when it comes to your family. And there are some things that you will be sacrificing as you feel like even if you give it away for now, you can still get it back later on. Now, be very careful with an air sign who will be um, yeah, more likely destroying your reputation, destroying your foundation and will be betraying you when it comes to money this person will try to be close to you and act like a friend but eventually you just need to protect yourself because this person is double-faced or two-faced or has a double intention towards you the changes that you're about to make by the end of this month of November will be a little bit um, it's like a little bit all over the place Okay, you'll be a little bit more discontented, impatient. It's like, why is it that the news that I'm waiting for isn't really coming? Now, the news will come to you, especially around the 29th of this month, along with some news about your mother, or along with some news about a person who is conceiving or who already delivered a baby. All right? Now, when it comes to your workplace, or when it comes to your works and finances, you need to do a little bit of a magic in order for you because there are some three investments that you want to make or that you want to put your money into this year. Sorry, this month. And uh, if you really want to have a better return, you need to weigh down the pros and cons. Not because that everyone is going for one company or for one investment, you think that you can also benefit from that. You need to have your own analysis and the balancing and you need to have your own research as well. Try to consult someone who is more knowledgeable and more familiar with this. Aside from that, you want to, you will be more domesticated during by the end of this month. Meaning that you're not going to be going out or mingling with some friends or you're going to be going out partying. Now, when it comes to your love life, you feel a little bit stuck or stagnant and it seems like your family member or your spouse will be needing you at this point, but you will feel a little bit limited, okay? Meaning that you cannot just go there because there are some obligations and there are also some pertaining problems that you need to face on your own. 
Now you need to balance and you need to learn how to control your spouse instead of just giving them their demands or succumbing to their demands. There are some things that needs to be changed and there are some patterns that needs to be released. Now, when it comes to your sex life, as I've said, be very careful with someone who's going to be trying to force you into having sex with them, especially if there is a fatal attraction to a co-worker or to somebody who is very attracted to you. If you don't want to have sex with them, then don't go for it because later on this will just prolong and this will just have more of a bad effect than you think it is. Then it's Because it's not just any other kind of fun. This person is not going to stop until they're going to get what they want but you need to put your foot down and uh, be a little bit more strong to your convictions now when it comes to your house chest pain um, heartburn high blood pressure be very careful in getting too close with dogs or with uh, some wild animals Learn how to do the meditation and try to contain your anger, your temper, and your your uh, impulsiveness. Be careful with some over-the-counter medicines. Um, sore throat. Um, problems with your throat or with your air passage. Um, for women, be careful with some breast problems. And you also need to opt out for some organic food. Okay? There is some lifestyle that you also need to uh, to turn your back into, especially merge into fruit diet during this uh, during at this point or during this month. And you also need to balance your. It's more about your head, your migraine, you, some headaches, some minor pains, and some ringing in your ears. And stay and don't stay, don't stay too late at night. Okay. Again, be careful with some food poisoning. Let's take a look, singles. Before we proceed to your last month of December. Having some fun, moving to a new place, meeting somebody from the past, which is a fire sign, starting all over again, getting a new job, new offer, new opportunity, feeling a little bit depressed and stressed, money coming in, well, communications are also coming in from an air sign. Use your instinct and, you know, even though your instinct will be telling you not to, you will still be reconciling with this air sign. Anyway, there will be some happiness that's going to be in store for you as finally you will be moving into a new place or you will have um, some jobs to be done or jobs finished that is related to a property. Otherwise, I feel like you're going to be relocating. Somebody from the past that will be re-emerging and will be getting in touch with you. You just need to put your walls up, especially if this person is very toxic and been driving you crazy. New job offer, new business deals, business opportunities, acquisitions, emergence. This is what's going to be keeping you busy for the uh, second and third week of this month. And just be a little bit more careful because you're going to have some problems with your health. And you're going to be feeling a little bit tiresome and lethargic most of the time. An air sign will be coming back into your life. And despite of the warning of your instinct, you will be accepting this person back into your life just because that you really have real feelings for this person. Let's take a look at your December forecast.
finally for your December months. Oh. Wow. Uh-huh. Looks like your final month is not really going to be ending so good. Oh god. Okay. You know, this air sign is not really good for you. I'm not really sure why you keep on letting this person back into your life over and over again. There will be some legal problems and there will be some legal impediments that you will be facing because of this air sign. I also feel like there will be some legal settlements that is related to slander or related to some libel. Okay. Which is this person will be taking something from you. As I've said, be careful of blackmailing. And you will be extending a lot of money. But in the end, you're going to have a hard time winning through as the evidence is very strong against you. Let's take a look for the clarification. You gotta learn the hard way. You will be having sex with somebody during this point that you have some hard time either getting wet or having some erectile dysfunction. You're gonna be feeling a little bit insulted. very careful in this person's intention as I've said because in the month of December you will be dealing with some let's say some legal stuff okay legal battles legal problems uh, lawsuit as well it's like as much as you want to walk away this person is not really gonna you know it's not really gonna stop not unless that they're really gonna break you into pieces or they're gonna tear you into pieces now you will be asking for some friends and there will be some people who will be extending their help but then the finances that you have, instead of putting them into something useful, it will be all going into this legal battle, okay? You will get hurt with a realization who this real person is and what this person is really capable of just to destroy you after trusting them back into your life and you would wish for like a truce or for some like a like um, you know like an agreement of some sort which is you still have some full trust that this person is not really going to betray you now there will be some negotiations in exchange of a in exchange of a compensation but then you will somehow think is it really you know worth it you don't want your family to know about this ordeal and uh, as much as possible you want to cover up everything because you don't want some, you know, some things to conflagrate or blow into a bigger proportion. You will also start thinking of taking a loan using your 
their house is a, like a collateral, perhaps, and you'll be working on crunching some numbers. Okay, now if you would just go back to a few months back, like for example, November, October, September, this will be avoided if you would just, you know, take a look into that month. Okay, so anyway, now when it comes to your work, again, you'll be slacking off a little bit, you're going to be a little bit distracted. You will start thinking of moving into a new company just because that there will be a brand new offer and there will be a celebration. Now, right after getting the training that you needed and that you want, you somehow feel like it's time for you to face a new opportunity and a brand new beginning. Now, when it comes to your love life, you will be working on more well, establishing yourself financially, but then your spouse is not really going to be cooperating much with you, okay? There will be some arguments and there will be some exchange of some verbal stuff that will eventually tarnish your your marriage and uh, you'll be able to work things out by the end of this month. It's just that there are some things that you need to consider and don't say some things or don't make any promises when you feel like you're being guilty or when you're being when you feel like you're it's only being needed or don't say harsh things or make a decision when you are very emotional now when it comes to your sex life there are some things that you need to consider you're going to be a little bit more experimental during this month and again this person who wants to have sex with you or who wants to defray you will also try again and again and again and then there are some things that you need to heed from the past as a lesson be very careful as i feel like your health is also at stake here now speaking of your health again some kidney problems problems with your peeing and uh you need to detox and take some more herbs in order for you to heal and don't just stick around with some uh what do you call it? Some old synthetic medicines, okay? Immune system is number one. You will also feel that there are some things that's been happening in your skin, especially dermatologically related. You also need to have more exercise and sweat it out and try to take some more. I'm not really sure what is hibiscus. Hibiscus, I think, is a, a, where you... A, I think it's the one in Hawaii, the flower, the red flower. Uh, this is one thing, and then virgin coconut oil or coconut milk. Okay, you will also have a coarse voice or you will have some sore throat because of the upcoming weather. Let's take a look at your forecast singles. And again, it will be a little bit preoccupied in the, during the holidays, for the coming holidays. I want to wish you in advance to have a uh, you know, Merry Christmas and have a great new year. This month of December will also be the uh, fifth anniversary of Angels and Limerence that um, I'm planning to just... Uh, you know, do some celebration thing and the celebration promotion in the month of January because I'm a little bit tied up, okay, to my session right now. Also, if you want to offer some exclusive life, uh, session, sorry, life coaching and healing session, my 2019 reservation is already open for booking. You just need to get in touch with our representatives on how. Especially if you've been feeling so lost and you don't actually know where to go with your life, that nothing else actually works out for you, I'd be glad to help you out and uh, show you the way. Now, singles. You are going to be having a lot of worries. It's like you will keep on traveling, traveling, traveling. Your mind will also start wandering. There are some... You know, there are some um, success that's going to be coming your way, but it's like you're the one who's been stagnating your life. 
you already found whatever it is that you're looking for but you feel like there's still more okay now this is the self-sabotaging thing that I've been uh, mentioning right from the beginning of this reading that if ever you're not going to conquer this and you're not going to stop this nothing else is going to work out for you all right the thing that's been that you've been looking for in the in your life is just right within you you just need to um, identify the opportunity and remove some of the toxic people that's been like sticking around in your life like a gum all right there will be some success that's going to be coming your way especially for those who is thinking of going into shoe business or school business or not really uh, tailoring but uh, more of a um, it's related to some fashion but it's not about creating fashion but more like the selling clothes could be and uh, be very careful and um, you know uh, weigh down your options okay you can just do that online try to minimize the cost if you feel like this is your real calling but don't go all out like for example taking loan and just believe that it's just gonna take off business will take some time all right so anyway that's it for you for this entire 2019 and hopefully that there are some things that will be enlightening you if this doesn't really resonate with you check out your moon risings and uh, you know heed for the advices instead of uh, feeling a little bit in denial okay it will help you out in the process to prepare ahead and to prepare for the curveballs that you will be meeting right down the end of your year okay or for your entire year all right so have a great 2019 and blessings to you all